everybody who is watching this video. This is Sir Olenjolai Moko Tayailo Singo from United Republic of Tanzania. I would like to welcome you into my YouTube channel that called the Online Diploma, it's called that Online Diploma Polytechnic Institute of Tanzania. And then in square bracket Olenjolai, that is my name and that is my official channel. Uh, in this YouTube channel, actually, that I will be teaching you a lot of concepts. I will be sharing different things that I've been learning for years. Uh, in, at this moment, I won't uh, explain in detail that what will be benefiting on this. But one of the corner cons one of the consecration point is engineering mathematics for diploma student. Diploma is the one of the uh, college programs that you call it just intermediate between the ordinary schools and the undergraduate programs. So the, the main focus of this channel is just to train and incubating the diploma students. So if you're a diploma student, you are a great channel. If you are not a diploma student, but you know somebody who is doing diploma, especially in engineering or in science subjects such as lab, laboratory science, maybe physics science and so forth. So he or she will benefit on this channel. Uh, then that is just a brief description that I want to give you that uh, to welcome you. And then so I would like just a few few things just to share with you a few things before I go to the subject of the day or the modules that I'm going to introduce it to you. Uh, in this channel, I will be teaching you a lot of things, uh, a lot of concepts, but uh, today we'll be focusing on engineering mathematics or dip for ordinary diploma student. And in, uh, before just uh, explaining even anything else about the subject, make sure that you watch uh, other videos explaining in detail about the focus and the objective or the visions of this YouTube channel. Because in this moment or in this video, I won't give, I won't go into too much details in introductions of the channel. I'll be doing too much details on introductions of the module that I want to teach you. Uh, as a student and even my uh, even myself okay simply uh, i am a, uh, a, uh, i am a graduate or yes i am a graduate of Dar es Salaam Institute of Technology i uh, have been doing bachelor in electronics and telecommunication engineering okay so that's not the great case actually so uh, my intro my little introductions i want just to tell you that i know the environments of engineering mathematics I used to teach basic mathematics, I used to teach pure advanced mathematics, I used to teach basic applied mathematics, but yes, I used to teach also engineering mathematics for almost more than five years before uh, uh, before I teach you on this digital platform. So my classes are always very interactive, whether in person or in digital system. So the way that I'll be teaching you this lecture, this is the live lecture actually, uh, which I'll be teaching you uh, by using the digital devices. It took me much time to adapt here and using these digital devices and teaching an empty class. But even yourself, I encourage you, make sure that you use the digital ways and digital techniques to ask questions and interact with me, just like in the live class. So don't hesitate yourself. I, don't, I believe that you'll get even more than what you expected it to get and even what you used to get in your formal uh, formal learning in any institution. Okay, again, uh, in this channel, I will be providing material on the focus of uh, on the focus of NAT or national. The, we call it the National Council of called the National NACTE, the National Council of Technical Education. That the, the long terms or the uh, yes, the long terms of the NACTE, which actually that is a or uh, is a United Republic the also, authority has been a uh, which accredit institutions to provide ordinary diploma in United Republic of Tanzania. So, however, that the material might be used in any institutions or elsewhere in the world, in Africa, in North America, in South America, in Europe, in Asia, in uh, in, in Australia, everywhere else in the world. But remember that uh, it's dangerous for me if I focus in a focus to every syllabus or every curriculum so that's the key point that I want just to make it for this today for the today's lecture and today modules that I'll be teaching you the main focus will be according to the uh, requirements or the curriculums and the curriculums or the syllabus provided or, or recommended by the NACTE okay 
uh, which focusing on the competence based of engineering mathematics. Okay, so uh, those are the few things just I want to let you know. Uh, another thing which I want to just let you, you know at the beginnings of this lecture, uh, Olen July does not know everything concerned about engineering mathematics. I just know a percentage of it. I'm still learning a lot of things in engineering mathematics because I like mathematics. I have been, yes, I like mathematics and I'll be learning mathematics for the rest of my life. So I just know a small portion, a small portion of the braid, of the big braid that called mathematics or engineering mathematics, but I'm ready to share. Okay. So the main question that maybe you have been wondering yourself, why did I decide to open this channel and train students by using the digital or by using the technology? The main problem which I would like just to state, I have been in a, a, a technical institutions which they used to learn engineering mathematics and uh, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in diploma level and even and also in undergraduate level. For me, I didn't do the diploma, I did the advanced, stu advanced secondary studies, okay? Uh, but when I was there, I realized many problems, and especially that which had been encountered by the many students. I've been there for six years, and I learned a lot of things. I, I learned a lot of problems that similar, look similar to even in other institutions. Okay, so the problem is many students they fail to understand clearly the concepts and even the topics of engineering mathematics, which lead them to fail at all and hate even the subject and some of them used uh, it happens that they used to disco having retake it means that just uh, having retake and others absconding and even running away from the paper or from the exams not only that but even in thinking that you find that the students they don't they cannot grasp the concept they have been learning in engineering mathematics and even that in learning the engineering mathematics you find that in, Many students are on a, on a diploma level, they fail to relate the engineering mathematics they are learning in the class and in problem solving. So it doesn't mean that I will be solving all your problems, but I believe that I, I, I'm going to try my level best by using different techniques and different tricks and different teaching aids to make sure that I minimize and even just the, I solve, if it possibly even I can solve all your problems on learning engineering mathematics. So that's one thing that I just I want to declare and I want just to let you know. So uh, this also does not eliminate your formal education or your formal classes. This is, I'm trying to supplement, uh, I'm supplementing the contents to you. Okay, so don't say that, okay, so and so forth, that if I learn this but you know, just take them and then apply them whenever that is required. So right now, let me, let us go to, to the module of the day, or the module that I have prepared in this lecture. We call it integration. The module is called integration, probability, And the statistic. Statistic. This model is, is offered by different institutions and enacted for engineering students who are in ordinary level. Uh, but the focus at this moment is uh, the focus. I will be focusing in this lecture uh, by uh, I'll be focusing on DIT. DIT curriculum or DIT syllabus. It doesn't mean that this material won't be used for other students. No, the, uh, the requirements for the NACTE is similar in different institutions of engineering. So the engineering mathematics recommended by NACTE to be studied by the students of ordinary diploma is closely similar. But my primary focus is to the DIT syllabus. So, uh, before we go into too much details, I would like just to let you know that according to the DIT, this model is called integrations and probability, uh, integration probability and statistics. In the new curriculum, you might find that the word integrations is no longer there, 
but it has been taken to the second year. Okay, but you can find the word, uh, the modules is called probability and what is statistic. Don't worry about how the module is called. I will be teaching you according to the requirement that you have to cover, whether you're using the old syllabus or the current syllabus. Don't worry about that. So in in uh, in NATE, or NATE used to provides, we call them uh, awards or certificates, awards the certificate in NTA level, National Technical Award. Okay? So for this one, in some of the institutions, they used to learn this model of probability and statistic in, in first year, especially second year, second year, second year students. That's the moment that they are using. And this we call it NTA level five. NTA level 5 and uh, for the DIT this is the second semester second semester module second semester module so those are the few things that I want just you to know so then after having this introduction or oh, it means that just like uh, the, the big picture before I got the big picture of mathematics I want to give you reference reference books for you to understand this topic that I'm going to teach you reference book books and the material okay and materials of 40 of probability probability and the statistic so let us mention some of the reference book that you need. The first thing, reference book is called the course outline. Course outline. The course outlines which shows what you have to cover of 40 of probability probability and the statistics. This is relevant uh, material. Statistics offered by your institution, uh, institution, okay? So that's the very important content or requirement materials that you need. But also, in order for you to master this, whether it is called probability, statistic, and integrations, or integration and probability and statistics, don't worry about that. I'll be teaching you, I'll be teaching you integration this channel, I'll be teaching you probability this channel, I'll be teaching you statistics in this channel. So you won't lack anything else. You're in great position and you'll enjoy the mathematics. Because remember that the main goals of this channel is to teach students to love engineering mathematics. And not only to love, but to apply in their daily life. So I'll be teaching you to think differently. Okay, so get prepared to be transferred in your mind of thinking differently, concerned about this the engineering mathematics. Again, another important reference book is called the basic basic engineering mathematics. Basic engineering mathematics. Okay. And this is fifth edition. Fifth edition by John Bell. This is the common book used for diploma student by John Bell. The set reference is called the concise, concise cause, cause of statistic. Concise cause of statistic or concise cause in A level. in A level statistics. In A level statistics statistics. I didn't find the names of the house of this book, but you can find the name. And then uh, other reference is uh, probability and the statistics. Statistic Maths by Owen Jolai, the man who is teaching you now. Okay, Owen Jolai M. 
Then the fifth reference is test one, test one, test two, tutorial, tutorial questions, tutorial questions, assignment, and the final exam. Fine exams, which in abbreviations we call the FA or UE, FA, or in some of the institutions we call the UE, university exam, fine exam, okay, past the papers. So, past the papers. These papers and these assignments and the even the uh, tutorial questions are being given to the previous students before you. The number, the sixth reference book is called the online books. Books that you can get them online and what books, online books and the notes. Okay. Then the seventh required material to learn this lecture is scientific. Scientific calculator. Scientific calculator. Example Casio. Casio F nine hundred of function nine hundred ninety one scientific calculator. So these are the sum of the materials that we need reference books or materials of probability and statistics. The first one is called course outlines. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. By your institution. By your institution. By your institution. Institution, for example, the IT or ATC, Arusha Technical College, etc. The second reference book is called the Bed Engineering Mathematics, fifth editions by John Bed. It's a common book for ordinary diploma. When I was doing the research, they've been used in different institutions. The third reference is Conseil's course in A level statistics. This is a very good book and it has been putting a lot of efforts on teaching probability and mathematics, uh, probability and statistics. I made this book when I was in A level studies uh, 11 years ago and I enjoyed it. I understood many concepts in probability and statistics by reading myself on this book. So it's very important for you to get this book. Also, probability and statistics in OC by Ole July, the one the notes that will be giving to you on Blackboard, and even you can also order online the notes in written form or in PDF, or not in PDF, I'm sorry. You, just you can order the copy of the notes. Okay? Then, test one, test two, tutorial questions, assignments, and final exams, past the papers. Uh, we, call, we call them final exams or university exams. Then number six, you can refer online books and notes. And even number seven, you need a scientific calculator, example, Casio uh, function 991. But the last is not listed, and you can refer even your class notes if they can help you. Okay? So before I mention the contents of this module, or of one of the topic of this module, which is statistics, I would like, first of all, to give you the big picture. Big picture. I want to share with you the big picture of mathematics. When I think about mathematics, what do I see? So this big picture called mathematical or hierarchical of mathematics, hierarchical order means hierarchical of mass of maths, right? 
So this is the big picture. It means that this is mathematics. Then we have two main branches, okay, which you have to understand it. The first one we call it pure mathematics. And then the second branch we call it applied mathematics. Applied mathematics. And then so under this applied mathematics, we can break it down and go deeper and deeper. Then we find many apply or many areas where we apply mathematics, but I would like just to mention three of them. In applied mathematics, we find engineering mathematics, and also we find scientific mathematics, mathematics that are used in scientific, scientific math or maths, and also we find uh, economic mathematics, for example, Economic mathematics. Economics is the ones of the branch or of the study that uses mathematics in many cases. Then in engineering mathematics also you can have three branches which are very important for a student to understand them step to step. The first branch we have basic engineering mathematics. Basic engineering mathematics this is for diploma student and this is what I'm going to teach you in this channel then the second branch we have undergraduate engineering math this is for undergraduate, for the bachelor student. Okay? I will teach it in another channel. But also we have postgraduate. Postgraduate, when you be doing your postgraduate studies, masters, even something the PhD, postgraduate math, engineering mathematics. So you can have some modules of mathematics. So this is the big picture in my mind. I used to visualize mathematics in this big picture. You have pure mathematics. In pure mathematics you find basic applied mathematics and even the advanced mathematics. Uh, and even we find that uh, if you go the that is a, when you are when you check or you take the subject of pure mathematics in secondary level or in ordinary level, you will find mathematics, based mathematics. And also, when you go to advanced level, you find advanced mathematics. But if you go to the college level, university level, institution level, you may find bachelors in mathematics. Okay? Where actually that you'll be learning pure mathematics is not applied. But another branch is interesting in real life is called applied mathematics, where we have three branches, engineering mathematics, scientific mathematics, economic shorty, mathematics. So these three branches are very important. It doesn't mean that the applied mathematics is only applied in these three areas. No, these are the examples. And at this subject of engineering mathematics, again, we can categorize it into three branches, main important branches. The first branch is basic engineering mathematics for diploma student, undergraduate engineering mathematics for the bachelor student. Okay, for the bachelor students, this is bachelor, bachelor student. That's the meanings of undergraduate. Postgraduate engineering mathematics for uh, masters and PhD students. They find also they learn uh, engineering mathematics because according to the research that uh, a student want to student want to want to do in order to accomplish the master studies. So after introducing to you that big picture of mathematics, now I would like to take you, okay, I would like to take you uh, 
uh, into uh, into the first topic that the topic of the day of this lecture I want to teach you step to step in a simplified language the topic known as statistics say with me statistics say again statistic it's not a new topic uh, regardless whether you are from O level or you are from uh, A level studies you have you met with the with this topic known as statistics but in engineering mathematics in both engineering mathematics we we gonna take it in, into the into real interesting stage so stay tuned so according to the course outlines so let us see course outline of 40 of statistics course outlines of statistics The course outlines also is called disavenabling outcomes. So the following are the contents that we are going to cover. The first contents we have to learn together about introduction of 40 of statistics. What the meaning of statistics? Statistics. Statistics. Then the second content that we are going to learn, I'm going to teach you, I'm going to teach you some uh, statistical terminologies. How do we define some statistical statistical terminologies? Okay, you are allowed to pause these videos in case that you find um, teaching quickly. Okay, then I'll be teaching you a uh, histogram. If you knew it, I'll remind you. If you don't know it, I'll teach you for the first time. Okay, or if you forgot, you forgot it totally, I'll be teaching about histogram. And then, according to the subnabling outcomes of this module, recommended by NATO or accredited by NATO, recommended by NATO to be learned by the diploma students, I believe you are enjoying the beauty of statistic and probability before even I start teaching you. Okay, the first subtopic of this uh, main topic of statistics, I will um, be teaching you about cumulative, cumulative frequency. Okay, cumulative frequency in other ways or in other books we call it all Then that's not enough. I'll be teaching you about. Frequency polygon, say with me, frequency polygon. I'm giving you a high. Remember that if you want to build a house, you will never start from the roof. You will always start from the foundation. So this first lecture, lecture one, or yeah, lecture one is all about introductions. I'm building the foundations, uh, which after that will give you a focus of where we're heading to. Okay, frequency polygon. Frequency polygon. Okay? And then the sixth subtopic you call the measure. Measure of central tendency. Measure of central tendency. Measure of central tendency. Measure of central tendency. We call it mean. Here we have three measures of central tendency. I'll be teaching about mean. I'll be teaching you about median. Say, say median. I'll be teaching you about 30 more. These are not new terminologies in your mind because you learned about these terms in all level. In your all level studies, whether in geography, whether in mathematics, I know that. During your form 10, form 3, we learn the topic called the statistic, but we, we want to take it in far. And then I'll be teaching you again how using the scientific calculator, how can we use uh, our 
scientific calculator scientific calculator scientific calculator to calculate or to find calculate the mean the mean of the data of the data then number 8 I'll be teaching you about uh, measure of dispersion measure measure of dispersion remember that if you need reference book or you need a scientific calculator make sure that you go to the descriptions below okay dispersion measure of dispersion dispersions here i'll be teaching about range remember about the description sections and then i have explained to you how you can order the reference books and even the scientific calculator online and i will ship it where wherever that you are in the United Republic of Tanzania. Variance and the standard deviation. Deviation. So this is the eighth subtopic, the ninth subtopic. I will be teaching you how can you use it using scientific Scientific calculator, scientific, scientific calculator, scientific calculator to find balance, balance, and what standard. Standard deviation. Balance and standard deviation of statistical data. The last subtopic I'll be teaching you on problem problem solving. Problem solving. me we teaching problem solving on statistics so this is the requirements of the course outline okay uh, according to the DIT and even according to the NATO. and even for other institutions that are learning competence based in mathematics. The first subtopic is called introductions of statistics. I'll be introducing some concept of statistics and that the business that I have to make it today. And then the second is some statistical terminologies. When you say some statistical terminology it means about the class mark. Uh, for example, you heard about it, the um, uh, lower class interval, upper class interval, the class size, the frequency, the cumulative frequency, what does it mean? Okay? What the means of all of those Terminologies. So I will be teaching you step to step. And then the third is histograms. Histograms is the one of the way method that used in statistics to present data, which has been collected in a particular area. Then the fourth subtopic is called cumulative frequency. If this is the all gift, we'll be having cumulative tables, and then so be, I'll be teaching you how to draw them. Because every concept here has been asked in the final exam, and even since very important in real life that in your real life or in real life of the mankind then the fifth subtopic is called frequency polygons it's still it's a curve that i'll be teaching you how to draw the frequency polygons and then the sixth the sixth subtopic is measure of central tendency mean median and mode and i'll be teaching you mean of group d and ungroup d data i'll be teaching medians of grouped and group and grouped data and mode of mode of grouped and ungrouped data then number seven, uh, we, we can use the scientific calculator like this one, right? We can use the scientific calculator like the one that I have here, which is Casio function 900, 991, 
okay, 931ms. So we can use this scientific calculator to compute 40, to compute the mean of 40 of, uh, of group D data or even uh, of group data when if you change them into group data of, of 40 of um, group D data. So uh, that the concept that I'll be teaching you in the, in this uh, subtopic. Also, that's what won't be enough. We have to teach you and build a good foundation on measure of dispersions. Okay? Measure of dispersions. I'm sorry, I think that I made a mistake there. Let me check the spelling. Measure of dispersion. Dispersion. Yes. Dispersion. Thank you very much. Dispersion. Measure of dispersion. So this is all a measure of dispersions. There we find three, te three important uh, technologies. We call it a range, then find variance and standard deviation. Then number nine, so I'll be teaching you how to use a scientific calculator like this one, or even the other ones which is more scientific or even more powerful rather than this. But this is now function 991. If you don't have, make sure you go to the descriptions below and then read how you can order it, order it online so I can ship it after you do, you, after you have done it, mobile or banky prepaid consumption. Okay? So on finding the variance in these uh, standard deviations, then the tenth subtopic I will be solving problems in statistics with you and I will be giving you a number of homeworks. You have to make sure that you do this before the next lecture and try them, okay? So don't, don't be confused with all the list of the, all of those 10 subtopics. I'll try my level best to make things to be very simple, interesting, uh, and even just, I uh, can handle them and go them so you go, you go through them and even you can remember them anytime else, okay? So what is the prerequisite of this topic? Prerequisite. Prerequisite. What is the requirement? Prerequisite. So the prerequisite of this module are two. We need to remember the statistical form theory. Statistics of form theory. Then statistic, which was 11th, 11th topic or the last topic of form two, sorry. And the, the second prerequisite is statistics at the third topic of form three. If you forget, I'll remind you. I train my left best to remind you. In this class, there's no need of even of prerequisite because I'll be reminding you many concepts as well as I can. Then what is post requisite? These concepts of statistics or in engineering, mathematics, is very important, is very important in your present and even future studies. The post requisite means that you need to understand or to understand this concept when you'll be doing uh, a, a what we call it undergraduate when you'll be doing under undergraduate undergraduate studies okay in engineering discipline undergraduate studies undergraduate studies or you say that undergraduate, you need it in undergraduate engineering. Engineering. Okay, probability. And the statistic. What does it mean? Let me just finish the, the two. The first request now I will explain. Also, you need these concepts of statistics in your postgraduate post engineering, engineering, math, 
and the research. Also need this concept in research, in your research, in your thesis. thesis. Okay? Then the third, we say we need this concept in practical real life. In practical real life. So these are the three post requisite of this statistic according to my experience. I would like just to insist you to make sure that if you forgot the, the first two prerequisites, make sure that you don't forget what I'm going to teach you because you need it if you be pursuing your undergraduate engineering studies in probability and statistics, and which is often is the last semester of the second year. I mean that the second semester of the second year, whether you study University of Lerislav, you study in the Rest Institute of Technology, Asia Technical, Bear Institute, you'll be studying University of Dodoma, you'll be studying in it may vary that sometimes you do this modeling during your first year, if there are variations during your first year or during your second year. The issue is make sure, I would like just to tell you that because I've, I've, I've studied this model, so I know that and even I've, uh, I've, uh, I've, I found it in many of the prospectors of different universities and institutions in the Republic of Tanzania. No any engineer actually that is going to graduate I graduate with a bachelor level without studying probability and statistics. That's what I can summarize. But also, if you'll be doing your postgraduate in any mathematics, you need some courses of statistics, especially that this online course of statistics. And even when you'll be doing your research, later on, you expect to do master's in engineering, master's in fuel, master's in maybe in oil engineering, in electronics, master's in high power, electrical, whatever or masters in renewable energy and so forth. So you need this concept statistically on doing your, your, your research effectively and correctly. But again, it's practical real life. We need the concepts of statistics and even that the techniques of statistics to apply in our daily practical life. So that's the all about prerequisite and even the post-requisite of this module. So now, thank you very much for being patient on this introduction part, which is very important. It's the fundamental, fundamental, uh, fundamental concept of statistics. So now, let us go to the uh, to our first lecture or first session. This we call it lecture zero one. Okay. Uh, and I will break it into subsections, so it means it might be A up to C. Okay, lecture zero, one, A up to C, but depends on the size of the uh, footage that I have recorded. Then we want to start with the first concept, which we call the introduction. So introduction of statistics. So in introductions of statistics, stati Statistics, statistics, introductions of statistics. I would like to teach you some very important key concept in introduction. Okay, so the first terminology that we have or the first concept that we have to learn is what is the meaning? This is question one. Define the word statistics. Ask your neighbor. Define the word statistic. What is the statistic? Or in other words, we say that what is statistic? You have been studying it uh, years and years, but what is it in mathematics? What is statistic in math? Because you have statistic in economics, you have statistic in engineering mathematics, you have statistic in scientific in mathematics, in medical mathematics. So what is statistic at the first 
fundamental question that we have to know as engineering students. So I found three definitions about statistics which are very important. I'll be giving you all of them and then we choose the easiest one for you. So there are three definitions that as I said that statistic is a branch. Branch of what? The branch of mathematics. So this is the branch of mathematics. of mathematics which deals with which deals with with the scientific method scientific methods of collecting data of collecting data summarizing data we summarize data in statistics summarizing data summarizing data Drawing conclusion, which is inferential. Drawing 